And it's really, really hot here. It's like gone today. Uh, I don't wear shoes. I don't even own a pair of shoes now. And uh, I think I own one pair of socks. You know, I don't know why. I hardly ever wear them. Um, I wear flip-flops, and then I just I go barefooted in school because I'm teaching little kids mostly. I see some teachers come in and wear, some foreign teachers wear hard sole shoes. Uh, for one thing, you know, a lot of the rooms have uh, foam floors, so you have to take off your shoes anyways. And then you can't walk around in these language centers in these schools with uh, socks because there's, there's water on the floor everywhere. <laughs> Southeast Asia, there's water on the floor everywhere. Uh, you're always wet. You're always wet. If you're not sweating, then it's, uh, you know, it's raining or, or something. But I have no need for shoes. Uh, I don't want to, I don't want to step on their little feet. They get under your feet real bad, you know, and none of them are wearing shoes. Everybody, everybody here uh, in school is not wearing shoes usually. So I can get by without them, and I do. And uh, of course, underwear. I don't wear underwear. Why would I wear underwear here? Occasionally, I have I have like two pair of underwear, uh, so I don't wear much. And uh, my whole entire life will fit into two bags, two small bags, <laughs> which I uh, is okay. It's okay with me. I mean, I used to have a lot of stuff in the USA. I had all kinds of crap. When I started getting rid of my stuff, I didn't. Man, I had a lot of stuff. I had quite a bit of stuff to get rid of, and uh, I did too. I got rid of all of it pretty much. I have a uh, one. I have one small tote of stuff at my mom's. Just uh, real important things that I don't want to lose ever. And, uh, and that's all I got. So I'm gonna go back to the, to the USA and uh, try, to, try to make a life there. And if I'm not happy, I'm gonna come right back here to Vietnam. Uh, my fiance and I have already discussed it. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna try it and, and see how it goes, but if it doesn't work out. I'm coming right back here. Uh, Vietnam is my out for the West, uh, but I want to bring my boy. If I come back, I want to bring my boy real bad. He's gonna be 18 the day after Christmas, and uh, I want to bring him here someday because I think he can meet a nice girl. I really love the women here, and I love the ladies, and I love the culture too. It's, uh, I think uh, I think very highly of this uh, culture in this country, and, and these people are pretty pretty good people. So I think uh, he has a pretty good chance of finding a pretty good girl here. Uh, we'll see if he's into that. Uh, I'd bring my daughters too, but I don't think they'll ever come. Uh, I'm sure I'll come back to Vietnam someday. I don't know why I think that. I just I think I probably will come back here, but I think I need to go back to the West for a little while. Uh, I'm not sure exactly where I'm going to go. Where am I going to go? Uh, I'm looking at Craigslist right now, and I'm thinking, well, the Midwest, the Midwest. It doesn't make me... Uh, doesn't make me happy, but mm, how about Ann Arbor? Ann Arbor doesn't sound too bad, does it? Uh, if you look at the price of rent in Ann Arbor, it's cheap. It's really cheap. They must not have jobs there. Uh, or maybe. Kalamazoo. Have you ever been to Michigan? It's not too bad. Battle Creek. Uh, in some ways it's better than Ohio. Uh, Dayton, maybe. I don't know. I I, I want to go back to my my hometown area, but it's uh it's pretty small. It's a pretty small area, so I'm not exactly sure if that's where I'm going to end up. I'm kind of making a plan now. Uh, Indiana, you know, it doesn't do it for me. Indiana's, you know, they're... I'm oh, sorry, I bumped the table again. Uh, I 
Indiana will probably be one of the, of the last states in, in the country to legalize cannabis, I'm gonna, I'm gonna guess. Um, I do like their gun laws though in Indiana, but it's not the same in, uh, it's not that bad in Ohio. Uh, Michigan is, uh, I don't think it's as good, but I need to check them out because uh, laws change all the time and I haven't kept up with it. Uh, I don't know where the hell I'm going to work. No. I don't really want to go back and work at a factory. Maybe a warehouse or something. I wouldn't mind getting a job driving a truck, but I don't want to go out over the road. Because uh, I won't ever see my boy. And uh, 